Hey guys, in this list we're going to take a look at a lot of mods that were released over the past week for Forge and Fabric on Minecraft 1.16.5. There's a lot of mods here, and you can grab them from CurseForge using the links below. The Plain Grinder is a new block which can be crafted by combining smooth stone and an iron nugget inside a crafting table. You'll also need to craft and attach a handle to it, which requires sticks and another iron nugget. Ore blocks can be placed inside the grinder, and when you spin the handle, they turn into two ore dust. Each ore dust can then create a single ingot, essentially allowing you to double the amount of ingots you receive per ore. The Play Button mod adds various YouTube Play Buttons to Minecraft as decorative items. You'll find the silver, gold, and diamond Play Buttons, which have their old and new designs available to be crafted. There's also the red diamond play button and the diamond team awards. This mod adds a new redstone block, which is a settler. You can place blocks inside and when you activate it with the redstone signal, the blocks inside will be placed next to the settler. There's also some decoration blocks included, which are condensed versions of stone blocks. Craftiest is a really interesting mod, adding a whole new challenge to Minecraft you'll spawn on a one block wide zone, which is full of secret areas, ores, and chests. You'll need to mine your way towards the chests, upgrading your tools as you go, as there are strong blocks to break and hostile mobs to defeat. The first one to find the victory banner and place it wins, making it a great challenge to play with friends. There are multiple world types, currently creating a forest, nether, plains, and ocean style challenge. Campfire spawn and tweaks make some useful changes to campfires. When you light a campfire, it will now create a spawn point on top of it, and you'll also be able to extinguish campfires by using dirt, sand, or soul sand. If you respawn on top of the campfire, then you'll also receive 10 seconds of fire resistance. You don't have to lose the spawn point of your bed either, as you can easily override it. Abundance adds new biomes to your world, which are the lavender fields and lavender plains. Inside, you'll find some new trees, materials, and blocks. These new blocks are mostly new wood items, which have red and purple colors, which look great. Whereas with flowers, you'll find the likes of marigolds and daisies. Another biome mod from the same developer is Bayou Blues, which again adds two new biomes. These are the Bayou and the Bayou Hills. And just like previously, you'll find new wood, which this time is green in color making it look great if you wanted to do a swamp-style build. There's also new plants and flowers, as you'll find some different colored lilies. Extra Space adds three new backpacks, which are small, medium, and large, with the largest size offering 112 slots in total. You'll need to start by crafting a small backpack from leather and an iron ingot. From there, you can upgrade between the medium and large sizes with more leather. I love the interface of the backpack, as it's really clean. You can also assign a name to the backpack, as well as categories for certain areas, which I also really like. Recount will add a small interface to the right side of your game, showing how much damage you've dealt. It doesn't just show your damage either, as it shows the amount of damage that other players have dealt, as well as mobs. Speeders are new vehicles which have a lot of different designs. To get started with the mod, you should craft the Mystery Capsule, which costs two diamond, two redstone, three iron ingots, one gold ingot, and one netherite ingot. Some can even be found in your world, and you can apply your own paint job by using paint brushes. Speeders are pretty fast, but if you hold space, you can launch them into the air and glide across your world. The Flint Gun is inspired by rust and can be crafted from three sticks. You'll need to load it by placing gunpowder into your offhand slot and right-clicking with the weapon in your main hand. It's now ready to be loaded with either stone blocks, cobblestone, or stone buttons, with them dealing different amounts of damage. Macaw always produces high-quality mods, and they've done it again with their new Fences and Walls mod. There's tons of new variants, which will look great with any build you're doing. Some are made of wood and some are made to look nice, or you can use the wired fences which will damage anything that touches it. There's railing fences too, which I think would be great with any gothic themed builds. Warped Potions adds a few new items which adds a teleportation mechanic. 
There are warped potions, arrows of warping, warped pearls, and warped fruits. If you use any of these items on yourself, then you'll be hit with the warped effect. When the effect timer hits zero, you'll be teleported back to the location of where you received it. As an example, you could drink a warped potion that lasts for two hours, and when the time's up, you'll be teleported back to where you were when you consumed the potion two hours ago. Llama steeds will allow you to ride your tamed llamas. Just like a horse, you can equip a llama with a saddle, so you can sit on top of it, controlling its movement. Food Mod Plus will add a lot of new food items to Minecraft, which aren't too difficult to craft. With this mod installed, you'll find foods such as burgers, pancakes, pizzas, and ice creams. Some of these food items give effects too. For example, drinking syrup will give you a sugar rush, where you have increased movement speed and healing for a short duration. Or there's a sweet berry jam, which gives berry power, allowing you to have increased strength for a few seconds. Right Click Harvest is a simple fabric mod, which I'd definitely recommend. When a crop is fully grown, you can right click on it to automatically harvest and replant it, saving you a lot of time and clicks. Compostable Rotten Flesh gives you a use to all the rotten flesh you've been collecting. Now you'll be able to place it in a composter, which will turn it into bone meal. Attaching leads to logs does exactly as it says, and means you no longer have to tie up your animals to fences, which you might not be carrying. With trees being abundant in Minecraft already, this mod is bound to be useful. Health Blast will make creepers a lot less deadly. From now on, the size of their explosion is determined by their health, so a creeper on max health will have the usual explosion size, but if you injure it, then the explosion will be smaller. Dazzle 2 adds a lot of new redstone lamps to Minecraft. There are hundreds of lamps, which vary in style, color, whether they're digital or analog, and whether they're inverted or not. One thing I miss from larger mod packs are all the different colored lamps. The Chillager is a new mob which was included in the Minecraft Live 2020 vote. You'll find them spawning in cold or mountainous biomes where they'll attack you on sight. They'll throw snowballs at you, which slow your movement and attack speed. There's also a few options in the config settings where you can change their spawn settings. If you're often playing in creative mode, then the creative keybind mod will help you out. When you press the G key, you'll switch between the survival and creative modes, meaning you'll no longer have to type out long commands. Upgraded shulkers will add some new tiers of shulker boxes. Alongside the regular ones, you'll find iron, gold, diamond, and netherite upgrades. Both diamond and netherite shulker boxes offer 108 slots in total, but the netherite one will be lava and blast proof. There are two upgrades too, which allow you to automatically deposit or void items. Transparent Cosmetics allows you to hide the armor that you're wearing so that your skin is completely visible. Transparent Ingots are a new item material which can be crafted by smelting glass blocks and then can be shaped into different armor pieces. When equipped into the cosmetic armor slots, they'll cause your main armor to become invisible. Fade-in chunks will add a new fade-in animation to freshly loaded chunks, which are similar to what's in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Overall, it just looks a lot more smooth and satisfying. That's it for this list. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more.